It's funny, you don't hear nothing about Somalia anymore. Doesn't that disturb anybody? <laughs> Remember, man, like two years ago, every night on TV, little skinny, bald-headed kids. Damn, it was so hard to enjoy a large pizza back then, man. <laughs> oh, fuck, look at that kid. Come on, turn the channel. Oh, mm, mm. Come on, he's got flies all over his face. Not funny. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, wait a minute, there's titties in the background. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't hear nothing about Somalia. I guess you go there now and they're full, right? Yeah, you go there now and there's like Snickers wrappers everywhere, empty Yoohoo bottles, everybody's sucking on a toothpick. I'm stuffed. Oh. I love seeing like white suburban kids trying to pull off that whole gangster attitude, man. <laughs> See them at the mall. They just don't feel the vibe I'm putting out at the yogurt shop. <laughs> Yo, bitch, I didn't ask for no sprinkles. <laughs> what up? Uh, sorry, DJ Jazzy Trevor. <laughs> I didn't know the food court was yours, buddy. Sorry, Trevor. <laughs> Why are you pissed off? Your dad let you take out the Lexus tonight. <laughs> Yo, ain't about that. I love it here, man. But you know what? People will get in your face with like unwanted political opinions here, won't they, man? Like everywhere you go, man. You go to the grocery store, man. Hey, man, you want to help save the rebels in uh, Nicaragua? No, man. I just came for some Fruit Loops and some milk. And shit. <laughs> I don't help nobody, man. I'm gonna help my belly out with some happy Fruit Loops. <laughs> right? Everywhere you go, man. Hey, man. You wanna save the whale? You wanna sign this petition to save the whale? <laughs> I mean the gall. God, I'd love to help save the. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't? Wouldn't everybody love realist, realistically, to help save the whale in some way? God, I'd love to. But I live in a big city, right? I don't come across too many whales in my day, man. You know. But if I ever see one shaking a cup at me, I swear to God, I'd give my dog. I would. I'd help him, man. I'd spit on. I'd pee on him. I'd create some moisture of some kind. I'd call SeaWorld or something, man. I'd do something. I wouldn't just leave him there so some pervert could do something to his blowhole. Oh, oh, oh. And you know, in a city like San Francisco, somebody would get up on it just to see what it felt like. The whale would have to show on a little Shamu doll where he was touched. <laughs> Jerry Garcia, huh? That was sad he died, Jerry. Everybody bummed out about that? Yeah, it's always sad when a man of peace and love dies, but uh, to be honest with you, I'm just glad I wasn't one of the pallbearers. <laughs> I mean, at least Freddie Mercury's buddies didn't have to set him down and rest every couple of feet. <laughs> My back is killing me. Let's put this fat fuck down for a second. Oh, Mr. Peace wasn't afraid to reach for a Snickers, now was he? Hey, 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 and I feel bad for the deadheads. You know, I do. The ones that have to go to junior college and get a skill now, I do. But you know those one, those unwashed looking deadheads, man? Those ones you see on like Hate Street and shit? The ones that look like they're in danger of following butterflies into traffic? <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> Corky's dead. Who's gonna sell the wire bracelets now that Corky's dead? The whole industry could collapse. <laughs> Those were the only fans who would go to the concert with no money and no ticket and walk around up front going, I need a miracle. I need a miracle. Hey, why don't we go through the whole list of shit you need? You need some underarm deodorant, number one. 
Clutch for the van. How about a new pair of underwear? Your elastic isn't even attached anymore, for God's sake. What's that stain? Did you check the oil? I was in San Francisco when Jerry Garcia died. I went to the corner of Hayton Ashbury. Did you guys get there? They had a little vigil, and people were lighting candles and crying and hugging each other and shit. It was real cool. But there were two cops there, man, and I asked one of the cops, I go, hey, is anything freaky going on? And only in San Francisco will you ever hear a cop say, no, man, it's all beautiful. <laughs> so he braided my hair, and... Uh, yeah. We talked about the James Baldwin novels we had read. <laughs> 